Rachel Klein here for Fox Sports and Scouts.com here with Florida State senior Akara White. And Akara, you're here down at ACC Media Day. That means basketball season's only a few weeks away. How excited are you for the season to start? You know, I'm very excited, very excited to, to play against these great teams. Uh, the three new additions we have to the ACC, you know, I think the ACC de definitely now became hands down the best conference in America. And, you know, uh, every, everyone who, who's a part of ACC, I think they, they've worked very hard to get it that way. So, you know, I'm just ready for basketball season to get started. You know, um, you know, there's a lot of football going on right now, and obviously I, I'm excited for our Florida State team. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm ready to play the sport I love. It's definitely been an exciting football season. I actually saw at Seminole Madness, you guys had a special guest from the football team, Jameis Winston, there uh -huh. to help out with uh, one of your players' dunks. Well, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, he, he threw a pass in the dunk contest, you know, uh, uh, to Aaron Thomas. No, uh, he, he's a great character, and, he, and he's a great guy, and I think he, he'll be one of the greats to, to come out of Florida State. And, um, you know, um, you know, just just the relationship that the football and basketball team has down there in Tallahassee. You know, we hang out all the time, so we always support each other. You know, we had had a lot of uh, football players come there also, like Cameron Irvin. He did it through a pass to Ian Miller in the dunk contest, and and um, Terrence Brooks was there, and Kenny Shaw was there. So, you know, it, it was a great day. He came out and, and got involved with that. You know, he's he's a great uh, young guy. Was Coach Hamilton trying to recruit him at all to try and get him on the basketball team? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how how that would work out, but you know, <laughs> I'm sure he's a great athlete because he can run all over the football field. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, he's a great athlete. And, and I don't know, maybe Coach Ham did did ask him a little bit if he wanted to play basketball. You know, him and Jimbo will probably go back and forth with that. I was gonna uh, say, I don't know how Coach Fisher would feel about that. <laughs> exactly. So you know, I mean, if he did, you know, I mean, James say all the time he, he could play a little bit so uh, you know if he did he'll be a tri-sport athlete you know he's a great baseball player also and you know uh, he's really stepping into um uh his ability to, to to be a great player for florida state well i mean this is this is just such an incredible interview you shut the lights out of this room right that I, i've heard about shooting the lights out in a game but i've never heard of anyone shooting the lights out when they're sitting at a media table during media day that's pretty impressive Akaro. Uh yeah thank you you know uh, you know i just want to prove my power to everybody and, and now you just powered the room back up <laughs> Exactly. So, uh, you know, we're just having a great time down here at uh, HC Media Day. Uh, it's a beautiful setup, a uh, beautiful scenery down here in Charlotte. So I'm having a great time. Now we've talked about football. We've talked about the power. Let's talk about some basketball because that's what you're really here for. So you guys lost a big player last year in Michael Snare. He had a tendency to hit those big shots at the end of the game. How do you replace a guy like him? Well, you know, I, th I think you can't replace a, a talent like Michael Snare. You know, uh, he's the best closer I've, I've ever played with, and I think one of the best closers ever in uh, college basketball. The Mariano Rivera of college basketball. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to rock with that. Uh, you know, he's definitely a great talent. He's a great leader, and, uh, you know, I, I hope he's successful in life so we, what we're trying to do you know we, we we're not trying to replace and we're not trying to have a, a Mike Snare number two we're just trying to get better as a as a team all together and uh and try to be successful like we were in the past now you guys had a lot of young players step up and get some opportunities last year how does that help you now that they come back you have a little bit more experience from some of those young guys well you know they got a year under their belt uh you know uh, florida state and, and Leonard hamilton's uh, staff. We've always been known as a defensive uh, school, and so uh, you know it was tough teaching seven new guys the defensive principles of, of Coach Ham. But uh, you know this year is almost he's not giving them no slight. They got a year under their belt. You know they're not in, they're not coming straight out of high school anymore where where you didn't play defense at all. So uh, so you know we know we have to play defense and get back to what we what we were uh, in the past. How hard is that to teach a freshman who you know? Freshmen tend to be undisciplined. To teach them something so disciplined as defense, uh, it's, it's very tough, and especially when you have the, the freshman mindset, which is, which is almost you know, if a freshman messes up, they always get down on themselves, uh, really bad. So we're we're trying to keep them um, encouraged and, and motivated, and and like the two new freshmen we have this year, you know, you know, we try to tell them, you know. You're supposed to mess up. You're a freshman. You're not going to do everything perfect. But um, this year, with the, with all the sophomores we have, 
And uh, the second year players we have, uh, I think I think everybody's willing to, and committed to uh, to being successful. Now, who are some of the young guys that can step up? Uh, Aaron Thomas is, is amazing. Um, and Michael Ojo, he has made a, a big leap this year, you know, uh, just a tremendous leap. You know, we finally got him blocking shots. And Coach Ham used to joke with him all the time and, and be like, I've never, I've never seen an African who doesn't block shots <laughs> last year. But now, now he's blocking shots and he's using his body uh, very well this year. I know you guys have Devin Booker, who ran the offense for you last year pretty much. And he, he shot over 52% from beyond the arc. Those are some pretty impressive stats for a freshman. How have you seen him improve even since last year? I've been telling everybody that uh, I think he will be known as the best point guard to ever come out of Florida State since Sam Cassell. You know, uh, I, I've played with a lot of point guards, but it's just some, something about him that, that I see that in him. So, um, you know, he's definitely one to look for. You talked about Devin, how special of a player he is. What is it about his game? Is it because he's one of those true traditional point guards who's pass first? Is that maybe what makes him so special? Or what do you think it is? Well, I think he's almost the perfect mix as a point guard. People back up off of him from the three-point line. This thing with Devin that shoots 52 percent from the three-point line. You guys, unfortunately, didn't make the NCAA tournament last year, but that's got to be on on the agenda for this season. Definitely, that's on the agenda. You know, being used to going to the tournament every year, it was a big letdown not going last year. So, uh, you know, uh, we we were we were. Um, you know, we were happy to go to the NIT, that we were invited to go to the NIT, but we definitely want to get back to the tournament this year. Well, good luck this season, and we we'll look forward to seeing you out there on the court. All right, thank you.